What sparked my interest in the industry was that I felt so empowered becoming someone else. I was a young, young Aboriginal woman. I was 18 years old when I moved to Sydney. And uh, it was just, it was just like a concrete jungle to me. It was so, I felt like Bambi. I was just so out of place. You know, I was very fortunate to be in a very prolific drama school, uh, NIDA. And it was tough because most people in my year had traveled the world, fallen in and out of love, uh, done other degrees. That kind of aspects of adult life hadn't happened to me yet. So uh, to, to go into drama school and learn how to do things on my own, how to, um, how to really uh, put my be on, be on the front foot and and uh, to to be confident in myself. It, it really took time, and uh, I'm just so grateful that there were people along the way that said, "You know what? She's green, but she can do it." What I hope for the next generation of women in the in the industry is that. Uh, that they have the freedom to speak uh, about the quality of work that they're doing, how safe they feel in their workplace, that they're able to do that without any consequences. And I'm glad to see uh, that a lot of that is, is, uh, is shifting, but that, you know, people start to people start to see the value of women telling their own stories, women being given that, given that permission to do it. I think, I think what a lot of people misconstrue uh, with equality is supremacy and that's, not, and that's not what people are asking for in this industry, that's not what women are asking for. They just want to be, they just want to be paid the same. They want to be seen, uh, they want to be credited in the same, in the same manner uh, when they give their heart and soul to a job. And uh, they want to work with good people.